Kharkiv Bishop, Church helps people in Ukraine preserve their dignity. As the week of prayer for Christian unity unfolds, Christians of various confessions in the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv show their tangible solidarity with people enduring hardship due to the war, according to Bishop Pavlo Honkaruk, the city's Latin Rite Bishop. Almost every day since the beginning of the war, on February 24, 2022, the northeastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv has been attacked by Russian missiles. Many residents have fled, but many more still remain, either because they do not want to leave their homes or because they do not want to leave their elderly and sick relatives. In an interview with Vatican News, Bishop Pavlo Honkaruk, Bishop of Kharkiv Zaporizhia of the Latins, talks about the difficulties people are experiencing in these circumstances, how the Church is helping them, an ecumenical dialogue in wartime. Constant danger and tension. Our city is subject to constant, sudden, and destructive bombardment. About a week ago, two rockets fell here in the center of the city, knocking down residential buildings and part of the hospital, says the 42-year-old bishop. He explains that, unlike before, when the Russians used to launch missiles at night, lately they have been bombing in the evening when there are still people in the streets. This situation creates a sense of tension and danger, the bishop notes, and when the psyche is constantly in this state, you not only start to feel tired but exhausted. When you are tired, you can rest, but when you are exhausted, it is very difficult to find the resources to recover. The bishop says this constant tension also affects the quality of perception and, consequently, the quality of communication between people, which is why misunderstandings can sometimes lead to aggressive reactions. We live under a lot of pressure, Bishop Honkaruk continues, it's one thing when a person lives alone, but when they have someone they have to take care of, be it children, a spouse, parents, or someone else, it's even heavier. Fatigue sets in, it is very difficult, very dangerous, and even tragic. We often see a beautiful apartment building where only yesterday someone lived and where the lights were on, which then, the next day, is destroyed and covered in snow. When I walk past such a building, completely empty and silent, the impression is very strong. It is as if it were a sign of death. The church, a lighthouse on the seashore. The Bishop of Kharkiv Zaporizhia emphasizes that the presence of the church in these circumstances is extremely important, 